Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is December Patchageddon. This December, there's a ton of patches for IT administrators out there. The second Tuesday of the month is, of course, Microsoft Patch Day. And by the way, Adobe also shares Patch Day, releasing all their security updates as well. And finally, this month, Apple released all of their updates right around Patch Day as well. Let's start with Microsoft Patch Tuesday. Microsoft released 12 security bulletins, rating six of them as critical. These bulletins fix a huge number of vulnerabilities in many of their products, including Windows, both their browsers, i.e. and Edge, uh, the Office Suite, and also the .NET Framework. I won't go through all the vulnerabilities, but of course the browser-based vulnerabilities allow for drive-by download attacks. Uh, many of the operating system vulnerabilities allow you to elevate your privilege so that if a drive-by download works, you can get full system on a Windows computer. So you definitely want to patch the critical vulnerabilities as soon as possible and really apply all the Microsoft patches when you can. Moving on, Apple also released a number of patches this week. Uh, they include patches for all their operating systems, iOS, tvOS and macOS or Yosemite. On top of that they released updates for Safari their browser and they released uh, patches for some Windows products specifically iTunes and iCloud on Windows. Long story short if you're an Apple user be sure you have Apple's automatic updates apply those patches as well. Finally we get to Adobe and Adobe has released updates for a lot of different software this month. They of course released an update for Adobe Flash. These vulnerabilities again can allow uh, attackers to launch a drive-by download attack by enticing you to the malicious websites if you have an old version of Flash. They also released patches for uh, InDesign, Cold Fusion, and also a number of other lesser known products like RoboHelp, DNG Converter, and a number of others. Long story short, if you're an Adobe user, be sure to go to the Adobe patching or security page to see what you need. So really, the takeaway here is simple. If you run uh, Microsoft products or Apple products or Adobe products, you definitely need to go to the corresponding patch pages which I'll have linked in the reference section of the blog post associated with this video, and be sure to apply the relevant updates as quickly as possible. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.